Today in the Boot Guy, we're going to be looking at the Daytona by Goodyear Footwear in steel toe and non steel toe. So for this review, I'm going to be showing off the exact same boot in two different colors and two different styles. The wheat boot is going to be the steel toe version of the Daytona and this beautiful brown briar is going to be the waterproof non steel toe model. So starting with the Daytona, we got to talk about just what kind of boot it is. Daytonas from Goodyear are price point boots. They are inexpensive, heavy duty work and industrial boots. Now majority of these boots are coming in at under $100 and some even below $85. Now the good thing about it is that Goodyear is not skipping any steps in order to make a quality piece of industrial and work footwear. So the first thing they start out with is this single piece rubber sole. This is a beautiful heavy duty rubber sole. And this is kind of the key point in the whole Goodyear theme because Goodyear is known for making tires and the rubber that they're using is pretty damn close to tire rubber on the bottom. Now all the Daytonas are fully welted. So what that means is that these things are gonna be more comfortable when you have to wear these for plus hours, for 10 hours, 12 hours, and 15 hours, you're gonna get a much more comfortable boot just because of the way it's constructed. Now Goodyear is using a waterproof membrane that they are calling Get Dry. And what Get stands for is Goodyear Extreme Technology. So all the little things that they have going on about the boot, the slip resistance sole is called Get Slip Resistance, extreme Goodyear technology, so on and so forth with that. But the get dry membrane that comes in both of these boots and both of these models is something that you don't want to skip. If you're going to buy a work boot like this, you might as well spend the extra few bucks and get the waterproof model. Unless you really do not need a waterproof boot, this boot and this boot are available in non-waterproof models. Inside what you're going to find is this beautiful insole. It's a triple density. It's a heavy duty urethane that is back to a foam that then has impact zones through the heel and the forefoot on the insole. A little bit lighter weight than what you're probably used to seeing inside boots, but given the fact that this is a price point boot and this is the insole it comes with, that alone is a selling point to me. That they have a boot that falls in at the $85 to $90 range and you're still getting this beautiful insole inside there. Now when you open this thing up, you're going to have a nicely padded tongue and it's padded all the way down into the metatarsal part of the foot. And you also have this beautiful padded collar with a little boot pull on the back. Speed laces and eyelids are nothing really fancy, but they are dependable and durable. They are fully riveted in and washer backed. So these aren't the type of speed laces that you can bend and just rip right out. Now something that inexpensive boots usually are not is they're usually not heavy. The Goodyear boots, on the other hand, they are a little bit heavy, and mainly because all of that weight is down here in the sole. Now, the non steel toe model is coming in at 4.4 pounds a pair with the insoles and laces in. Now, the steel toe model is weighing in at 5 pounds. Now about the size and the fit in the Daytona, well the steel toe model, the first time I had it on, I did notice this steel toe. Now I didn't feel it in my pinky or my big toe, I felt it right across the top of my toes. Now the main reason that is, is because of this insole. They send along this very thick, comfortable insole, so it's raising you up inside the boot a little bit. So if you were going to start wearing these right off the bat, I wouldn't wear your heaviest, thickest sock for the first few days when you're breaking these in. Now about the brown blare, didn't even notice that I had this thing on. For a price point boot, I have to say it was exceptionally comfortable, and I really don't find many boots in this price range to feel this good. Now both boots are not extremely flexible out of the box and they shouldn't be. It's a fully welted boot with this heavy duty single density sole. 
which doesn't really make for a very flexible boot. Now, as you start to wear these things and as you break them in, they are gonna grow with you. They're gonna soften up, they're gonna start to flex, they're gonna become part of you. And if this is gonna be your introduction to work footwear, well, it's really not that bad of a choice. So that's the Daytona by Goodyear Footwear in non-steel toe and steel toe. Both boots are waterproof. Hey, if you've worn either one of these Daytonas before, please comment below. Let guys know about the longevity, the comfort, and just whether or not you would buy them again, considering that you're buying a price point industrial boot. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some detailed photos of the Daytonas, or if you want to know more information about the boots, everything that goes into making a pair of these, swing by the bootguy.com. There I'll have a really nice blog posting about both boots, and I'll also have some information directly from the Goodyear company all about all the nooks and crannies and everything that they put into these. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And if you're interested, remember, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hey, if you're about to pick up a pair of these Daytonas and you just got some questions about size and fit and whether or not it's going to be the right boot for your line of work, if it is going to be your introduction to work footwear, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.